Start your engines. Let's take a lap around a custom loop. This series of six quick tech snacks is designed to remove that nagging fear that you're missing some important detail about what's involved in building a custom loop. When we cross that finish line, you'll be able to dive into your own water cooling build with confidence. At the starting line, we have the reservoir. The reservoir is just a box of liquid with holes for in and out. Why does a custom cooling loop need a reservoir? Well, technically it doesn't. Your computer could be cooled just as well without one. It was created for us humans because it's really useful when filling the loop. Remember when I, that I said that when we get to the pump. There are also really expensive reservoirs called distro plates. These are also just boxes of liquid with holes, only they have more boxes and more holes. These were created because bent tubes are for poor people. Speaking of liquid, the standard coolant for water cooling is distilled water. You can just get it from the supermarket. Using distilled or deionized water will avoid impurities building up in your loop. Many people just use distilled water and move on. And that's fine for a system you only plan on using for a couple of years, depending on the quality of your components. Eventually, however, corrosion and algae would be a problem, which you can prevent by mixing in a bit of antimicrobial, anti-corrosion agent to your distilled water, such as Primochill's Liquid Utopia. There's also a reusable thingy you can put in your loop called a kill coil, but they can cause problems and some water cooling component manufacturers don't even support having a kill coil in your loop. So research that carefully before considering one, or, or just forget they exist. Of course you can buy a variety of pre-mixed coolants. These are nothing more than distilled water and the antimicrobial anti-corrosion agent, plus usually something to make it look cool. Look for reviews on the cool looking stuff because dyes can cause staining, some more than others, and the fancy, swirly, opaque liquids can settle in all the hard to reach places and form this slimy gunk. PSA, some coolants advertise as low conductivity, but you should always treat your liquid as if it's conductive and keep it away from your electronics. Even non-conductive fluid can become conductive due to impurities in your loop. Next episode, fittings.